Now, of course, this isn't the first vaccine given to Americans, and it's not the first produced under an emergency use authorization either. All right, team reporter Jessica McMaster goes in depth tonight looking at the history of vaccines and how they've helped eradicate diseases in the U.S. Vaccinations begin almost the moment we're born. While many of us weren't around to witness the damaging effects of viruses like polio, we're now shielded from several illnesses because of vaccines. Cervical cancer has historically been one of our biggest problems in women's health. Dr. Kevin Alt, an OBGYN with University of Kansas Health System, has studied vaccines for 25 years, including the vaccine for the human papillomavirus, or HPV. You turn back the clock a century. Dr. Alt points to several diseases that no longer impact us because of vaccines, such as hepatitis B, a virus that used to impact 10 to 15,000 babies every year. Well, that's in the single digits. You know, that vaccine has been 99% effective in that age group. Measles. We had millions of cases of measles every year in the 60s. Uh, and then, uh, you, you know, again, a 90% decrease. Rubella. Rubella and elimination, not just in the United States, but worldwide. But fear has led to a decrease in vaccinations over the years, says Charlie Hunt with the Kansas Health Institute. They're one of the greatest public health achievements of all time. Uh, they are safe and effective. Roughly 70% of a population needs to be exposed to a virus in order to achieve herd immunity. That's best done through a vaccine, says Hunt. But while information about vaccines is just a click away, so is misinformation. I guess our hope is, is that the people will listen to the right sources of, inf of information uh, that you know, the objective information about the safety and the efficacy of the vaccines uh, and get vaccinated when it becomes available. According to the CDC, only a few vaccines have ever been recalled. Most of those were recalled before any injuries were reported. Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine for COVID-19 is 95% effective with only minor adverse events reported. In Kansas City, I'm Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News. Vaccine researchers say if someone's going to have an adverse reaction to a vaccine, that usually happens in the first few weeks.